Alright guys, so it looks like we have some more information on the highly awaited for Project Highland Model 3. I've been waiting for this for a very long time because I've really wanted a more aggressive looking Model 3 overall. Not that the current Model 3 is bad in any way, it just doesn't have the same updated design like the Model S's and Model X's. It was really due for a refresh and as soon as I heard that Tesla was working on an updated version of the Model 3, I jumped on and waited until we got the first indication of Project Highland. So I've been covering this topic for a while now and if you guys have been following along with me I really want to say thank you. You guys really brought the channel up. Now this is moving extremely quick but according to an insider it seems like Project Highland Model 3s are going into production in the next few days. Now a user by the name of Yan Cheng on Twitter posted a tweet saying that there were insider leaks of the Model 3 production and that the Model 3 refreshed is gonna begin production next month in Giga Shanghai. Now of course take this with a grain of salt because we've never really gotten any insider leaks from this user. Now I wouldn't push this person out of the books yet because the credibility in China sometimes is very low. However, it could be really truthful. A lot of insider leaks typically happen somewhere in China and they usually happen from a WeChat link or a group. I know for a fact that there are a lot of groups out there really discussing all the situation going on inside the Giga Shanghai. And it wouldn't come to my surprise if there was an employee working on the line that knows some some kind of insider detail that they've shared it across some of the multiple links. This was really similar to the hardware for leaks as you guys have seen in some of my prior videos. They've even showed internal memos and documents going on inside the factory. So like I said guys, do take it with a grain of salt. However, don't push it out of the books yet. These might be true facts. Now these past couple days there has been a lot going on and there has been a lot of insider details and a lot of information regarding what is to come. This year is going to be a year full of products from Tesla and we're really excited for that. But the biggest details we've been getting about the Model 3 is literally the vehicles driving on the road. A lot of these pre-production vehicles have covers covering their front bumper noses and their rear bumper and trunk. This really means that they are very close to production and it's essentially road ready. Now the odd thing is nobody has gotten any clear images of these vehicles even though they've been driving by it even though that it's parked. Nobody has dared taken off the covers. Now although we haven't gotten any confirmation yet there has been some additional leaks that have come out and they're very interesting. Some of them are talking about the exterior, interior and technology changes and I'm just going to document them here for you guys today. So why don't we start off with the exterior and the back. We're going to be getting a new trunk that looks a lot more angular and a lot more aggressive. Now unfortunately this is not going to be a hatchback or a coupe back that I'm pretty used to. I had an S5 coupe back before and it was a marvelous vehicle. It looked really great from the exterior just like a coupe. And then on top of that, you got the convenience and usability of the hatchback. I really wish they came out with a Model 3 and Model S cross in between. But with that aside, we also do get a rear bumper that looks a lot more shaped and angular as well. I think that's the theme they're going with here. It's just going to be a more aggressive and angular vehicle. I'm not sure if they've taken some kind of hint from the Cybertruck because that vehicle is full of angles. Alright and shifting over closer to the front we're going to be getting new side mirrors now. I don't know what the overall shape is going to look like but they've said that it's going to be a lot sleeker this time around. There's one thing that I do really hope for and that is a frameless design like the Polestar 2. It just looks fantastic every time I see that vehicle in person. But fingers crossed we get something really nice maybe like the Cybertruck's updated side mirror. That would look sick to be honest. Alright and now shifting all the way to the front. This is really where the aesthetics of the current Model 3 kind of lacks. It's a lot more curvy right now and I do know this is mainly for aerodynamics but if you guys compare it next to a Model S which does have the aerodynamics as well but it also has this aggressive look to it. The first thing in the front is that the headlights are going to get totally redesigned. I'm not sure what it's going to be like but hopefully it's a lot sleeker than it is right now. The major downfall of the current design is that it doesn't mesh well with the overall aesthetics of the proportion of the vehicle. Back in the days a lot of headlights are a lot bigger and bulkier because they think a lot of light can come and reflect out of it. However, nowadays they use reflectors and LEDs and it can make the overall design a lot sleeker than it is. Just take note of the Model S or the upcoming Roadster, how they're extremely sleek but probably be able to pump out just as much or even more light than the current 3s. Now the headlights being revamped is not just a speculation. I really think it's going to happen because if you guys have noticed some of the previous road ready prototypes or the leaks, you will notice that Tesla purposely covered up the headlights with duct tape whereas prior to that 
that. They didn't do anything about it. They just left it completely open. I'm really looking for something really drastic this time around. Maybe something extremely sleek and still keep the matrix LEDs. All right, then on top of that, we have the updated front bumpers. We don't know for sure how it'll look right now, but if I do an overlay shot right here, you will notice that it is a little bit longer than the previous car, a lot more angular. And just zooming out a little bit here, you'll see that the overall length of the vehicle is just an inch or two longer than it currently is. This is going to tie into the interior, and I think this is where it's going to be a lot more spacious, a lot more legroom. I don't think this is going to be an overall redesign like they did for the Model S and Model X interior, but I think they're going to switch over to a lot of different cheaper material, although it still feels premium. Tesla has said that upcoming cars are going to be focusing on things that consumers care about most, and I think that maybe the Alcantara is going to be replacing all the leather and the wood trims. I think that's perfect to be honest, because right now with the white headliners, although it looks a lot more bright inside, it gets a lot dirtier than it would if it was just dark. Now don't get me wrong, the top is not going to be Alcantara just because it costs too much money, but I think Alcantara is going to replace parts of the trim panels around the vehicle. And of course we're going to get other goodies as well, like a larger display, maybe a rear display, uh, cooled seats and ambient lighting. All those stuff are things that me as a personal consumer would love to have in a vehicle. Now keep in mind that they're not doing all this purely for cost efficiency. They're doing it to stay competitive with vehicles in China. If you guys haven't already heard, there is Neo, there's Xpeng, there's Li Auto, BYD. They build fantastic cars, extremely luxury even for this sedan segment. All right, now moving on to the technology side of it. Of course, cost efficiency is going to be one part of it. So they are going to remove the external temperature sensor. That has somehow been confirmed. What this means is it's going to be relying on GPS and the weather network to approximate how hot or how cold your vehicle is on the outside. So one downside to that is that if you're parked inside of your garage, it's not going to be able to tell the live temperature inside. It's only going to be able to tell the ambient temperature outside of the house. So not that this is going to be a major issue and it really only affects people parking inside of their garages really. Everybody parking outside isn't really going to be caring about the temperature too much being inaccurate by one or two degrees. All right, and as expected, I've talked about this in countless videos as well. Hardware 4 hasn't fully matured to the real hardware 4 yet. It's still a process between hardware 4 and hardware 4.5. This is why this leak has indicated that they are including three new cameras, one at the front bumper in the center and two probably in the fenders. This is to remove some of the blind spots that the front windshield camera is unable to see and it's really fantastic for the cross traffic of full self-driving beta. And then of course they're going to be adding the radar system which is already in the current Model S's and X's as well. One other leak that just came out and like I said take this with a grain of salt as well and it looks like it indicates that there could be two placements for two radars up front. I kind of doubt this one but it's just there for you guys to take a look at regardless. Now yeah if I was going a little bit too quick with all of this I'll drop this whole list of changes they've done right here on the screen and you guys can pause the video but I'm extremely excited and I'm waiting to pick up a Model 3 performance any day now as soon as Project Highland is out. So let me know in the comments what you guys think are these changes going to be enough for you guys to buy or switch over to the new Model 3 or are you guys going to be waiting out even longer or just not even thinking about it at all? Now for the timeline of this vehicle, it was guesstimated that it was going to come out in Q3 of this year. However, with the recent leaks in China and Giga Shanghai saying the production starts this month, there is a possibility that you're going to see Project Highland vehicles driving on the roads very soon. Now when this time comes, you're going to be seeing the updated Tesla Studio, you'll be seeing all the new refreshed designs and all the new technology. I will be keeping you guys up to date as soon as I hear anything. If you guys want to stay extremely up to date, follow me at HeyJohnE on Twitter. I tweet pretty often there and I'm pretty active overall. And also make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so as soon as anything Tesla related comes out, I will keep you guys updated. Anyways, this should be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is it. This is John once again. Peace out.